Looks like it's all up and running now. So, let's get straight into it. Sonic Advance. And let's just play through it as Sonic. I think I'm going to play all of them as just Sonic. As you can see, I was playing it a little bit earlier. Because I already had a few saves, or a few zones on it. But yeah, I love these games. And I was really excited to come here and play these. Because obviously, after my last Sonic stream, which was Sonic 06, which is just horrible. To come here and play a genuinely good Sonic platformer is just really exciting. So I really hope you guys enjoy it. Um, there is a tiny little bit of lag playing it through this monitor, but hopefully that won't be an issue. We'll press on regardless. I mean, it feels mostly okay. So, we'll see. Cannot be bothered to wait for that platform. I did actually play this game on a Let's Play um, a few years ago now. So it's been a few years since I played this all the way through. So I'm really looking forward to it. And I wonder whether I can remember some of the later levels. Because if I remember right, some of the later levels can get quite frustrating. And I seem to be taking a really weird route through the stage. Wait a minute. It also feels a little bit weird, because I'm used to playing this on the Game Boy Advance or the GameCube, but I'm actually playing it using the SNES controller on the um, on the GameCube using an adapter, so it feels a little bit different to normal. Hey, I just realised as well that there, we've got Sonic and Tails. So, very apt for this stream. Hopefully you guys have all had a good day. I thought I would come here and do a stream today because I'm actually off to London tomorrow for work, so I wanted to get at least one stream in in the week, and today's the only day I could do that. And I haven't even packed yet, so I'm not sure how long this stream can actually be, because I do need to get ready for that. But I was just really excited to come here and play Sonic Advance, because I haven't played it in a long time, and I do really enjoy the game. Sonic Advance 1 is a little bit awkward, like you saw there. It's a little bit difficult to do the grind rails compared to Sonic Advance 2, so when we get around to playing Sonic Advance 2, hopefully um, it'll be a little more fast-paced. This first Sonic game is more like platforming puzzles and stuff rather than just speed, whereas Sonic Advance 2 is basically all about speed. So kind of think of it like the Mega Drive game, so Sonic 1 is kind of like Sonic Advance 1 in terms of gameplay, it's more of a slow-paced well, not really slow-paced. Slow-paced in Sonic sense, anyway, kind of platformer. Whereas Sonic Advance 2 is a lot faster-paced. And a lot more fun, in my opinion, but I want to play through all three of them. Because they're all great in their own right. But yeah, let's begin with Sonic Advance 1, anyway. And we're already on the first boss fight. I can't remember how many zones... What? Act zones? I think they call them zones, don't they? I can't remember how many zones are in this game. Six, maybe? Or eight? It's always six or eight. Uh, scary final things there. How's the sound? Does it sound okay? Is the game audio alright? I think it is by the looks of it. But yeah, please let me know if it is or isn't. And hopefully everyone can see the stream okay, because I did have to reset it. Yeah, hopefully it's good. Now we're on to level 2. Well, this one's actually a lot easier to play on the GameCube, because playing this on the GBA, on the original GBA with that non-backlit screen, you could hardly see what was going on in this stage. At least for that first section. Because basically all you could see was the spotlights, so you actually couldn't see the rest of the stage. So it is a lot better playing it on a nice bright screen like this. I don't really like the music in Sonic Advance 1, I just remember the music is kind of drab, in a way. But, yeah, let me know what you think. I don't think it has the same sort of memorability as some of the other Sonic games. Sonic Advance 2 has a much better soundtrack, so I can't wait to play that one. Hopefully tonight, if we get through this one fast enough. I'd love to play through Sonic Advance 2 on stream as well. I thought I was going to go down and hit that box, then. Looks like there's a pipe down here as well. Let's see where that one goes. Kind of like a 
really weird version of Chemical Plant Zone, just without any of the same atmosphere. And I'm already racking up some extra lives. 136 turns on the stage already. If I remember right, the first few stages are really easy, and then it gets more challenging later on. So, let's see. I remember there's one level near the end, which is set in the sky, and there's like loads of instant death pits, and it's really, really frustrating. So hopefully I remember where to jump in that one, because I always got a little bit frustrated at that stage. Anyway, that is level 3 complete. Let's move on to level 4. And yeah, I am playing these on the... not the Everdrive, on the Easy Clash. So if anyone watched my Easy Clash video from a few years ago, yes, I still use it all the time. It's in the GameCube right now. And that is what you'll see in Sonic Advance if you play that as we speak. And yes, it still works perfectly fine. I've had a few people asking me about the longevity of it. So you can rest assured, I've had it about a year and a half now, and it's not given me any problems at all. And that was the most pointless speed boost power-up ever. There's nowhere for me to go. Okay, maybe here. A little bit. Still not exactly the kind of level that needs speed shoes. Scary, don't want to stay there. Now, these kind of platforms, if you stay on them, you can actually keep bouncing higher, so I'm presuming there's a different path up there we can go down. Let's try and go that way. There we go. Yeah, there's another one of those chemical plant tunnels. But yeah, like I said, I don't really like the music in this game that much, but there's still a few songs like this one which are kind of catchy in their own way. Like, get on top of this one. If I time, if I time the jump right, like that, but with a bit more momentum to the left. Oh, can I not go left? How am I supposed to get there? Yeah. Go up. No, he just stops straight. Go. No, maybe I'll give up to getting that. I'm not getting it. Oh. oh. Okay, I am getting it. I just need to go that way around. Okay. Oh, I really thought I could be clever when we got through that way. Right, ready. And we go back on ourselves. And there's another one up. We are really raking in the one ups in this stage in this stage so far. And are we gonna get another one? The question marks basically just give you a random number of rings, so that did actually push us closer to another life. Wow. And now if I watch out for traps. Hey, I didn't actually realise you could slow down on there. I've never tried going that steady before. Hey, there we go, another life. Okay, or I can just ignore it completely. I like the way the sprite rotates in there. Oh, we found a special stage. Cool, I get to show you these. Kind of frustrating special stages, if I'm completely honest. It's kind of hard to judge the distance between you and the rings. So, the way it works is... You kind of have to... See? Like, I thought I got the rings in, but I didn't. It's really difficult to judge the angle correctly. I mean, yeah, I get it. They were trying to do a cool effect on the Game Boy, but... It doesn't quite... Quite work as well as it should. Um, yeah, you can see, like, I think I'm getting the rings there, but I'm actually missing them. So it is very awkward. And not enough rings. It's probably one of my least favourite special stages, honestly, at all games. Hey, Emperor is here. Good evening to you. How are you doing tonight? I was just saying, tonight's the only night that I've actually got to be able to stream because I'm off for work tonight until the end of the week, so I thought I'd come here and get a bit of gameplay in before I go. But yeah, god, these, these special stages are so annoying. I hate them. If there was one Sonic game that I was forced to, like, have to complete the special stages, this would probably be the bottom of my list, honestly. <laughs> you ended up using an action replay to cheat through it. I don't blame you, honestly. I can't remember what the ones in Sonic Advance 3 are. We probably won't get to that one tonight. 
If I remember right, the ones in Sonic Advance 2 are pretty cool. They're like Sonic CD style ones. Uh, I thought the game might be that loud. Thanks for letting me know. I'll turn it down to about there, just so it's going into the yellow. How's that? Is that better? It's hard for me to tell because I can't hear it back on the headphones. That's good. I don't need to shout over it though. Yeah, thanks for letting me know that, else I would have been stuck the whole stream with the game too loud. At least it's easy to adjust. Yeah, thanks, I really I really do appreciate it. I hate going in someone's streams and the sound levels as well. Is my voice okay? It looks like it's okay from OBS. So I presume it's alright. I want to make something that's good to watch, of course. There we go, we got through Act 2, that's four levels in now. Voice is fine, that's good. I love the background on this stage. I'd love the background on most of the carnival levels, actually. In most Sonic games. But again, this one's not super memorable compared to some of the other ones. I kind of feel like that about the whole game, honestly. It's like, yeah, we're just going to take random best bits from the Mega Drive game and shove them into one. Which I guess was a good idea at the time, because it was a brand new thing for Nintendo consoles. Is there anything to go up there? No. So yeah, I see why they made it kind of a generic Sonic game. And it does play really well. They definitely nailed the physics, which is the main thing. But in terms of level designs and aesthetic, there's definitely been more interest in Sonic games. Yeah, I'm definitely... I've definitely got my YouTube ahead on, even though we're on Twitch. But yeah. I want to keep trying to improve the Twitch channel as well, so if you've got any ideas about, you know, what I can do to improve the look or the feel of these streams or to make it more enjoyable for someone to watch, definitely let me know. I know I've got some emotes on the way. They're actually being reviewed right now, so you can't use them yet, unfortunately. But that'll be fun when they are. And I did see there's some things called bits which you can earn as well. As you can tell, I'm a complete noob when it comes to Twitch. But I've been trying to set things up, so I think you can do things like highlight your comments and stuff like that. Or get it read out or something, so... I'm not really sure how that works, but I've got it all set up in the background anyway, so... If someone with more knowledge than me comes along, then please let me know what bits are, why, why they're useful, how to get them. The one part of this level I always remember is the slope before the signpost. Keep things simple, interaction is a plus. Yeah, that, that just relies on people actually turning up for the streams. Well, I'm, nev I'm never sure when I press live, I'm like, is this going to be like a dead stream or are people going to actually join? But the way I'm kind of thinking about Twitch is that I'm doing them like Let's Plays. So from my point of view, it, I won't get upset if people don't join because I can just upload the stream onto YouTube after anyway and turn it into a into just a gameplay stream. So having people here is just a bonus, but I'm not going to let it get me down if there aren't people. But. I want people to enjoy themselves when they are here too. I'm sure that makes sense. So yeah. I'm happy to keep it simple. For now. And again, YouTube's always going to be my main focus. Putting this video in the background while you're working. Awesome. Don't let it distract you too much. Are you still at work? not a bad way of thinking. If my stream starts with zero people, I just go into Let's Play mode. Yep, that's exactly how I'm thinking. I mean, I think I already did the first two levels on this before anyone joined anyway, so... It's definitely a good way to think, else you'll probably end up just getting really down about not having people on there. And I don't want to put that much pressure on myself, so... I'll just be really, really glad when people do show up, but I don't expect to. Hey, talking about people showing up, Alex is here. To the gates, with his flag and his and his badge. Hello, how are you doing today? Have you played any of the games from Sage this year? No, I haven't yet, but... Oh, oh that doesn't look good. That's not good. 
What has happened there? He, the minute you arrived and the streams died, what the hell? I swear you're the curse, not me. What is going on here? Let's reset that. Let's reset that. Let's pretend that didn't happen. I was just saying how reliable the Easy Flash has been as well. I can't believe that. Right. Let's go Sonic. Sonic Advance. Let's try this way of playing the game instead. Apparently this way is a little bit more reliable. Maybe it's because I'm using the Flash card, I don't know. I, a few weeks ago I had the actual games out, but I don't know where they are. As you can see, my room has been completely taken over by 3DS games. So I don't know where the actual cartridges are, that's why I was attempting to play it through these. Hello editor, Countach Control, yes I'm having trouble again. It's all Alex's fault. He turned up and it broke. It was fine until then. It was it was honestly the best stream that I'd ever done. And then he came along and ruined it. All right, let's try again. Direct boot. Let's see if that makes any difference. Your day's been meh. Well, hopefully seeing me struggle to get something running on stream has cheered you up a little bit. <laughs> all me. Well, I'm not to blame. It ran perfectly fine when I started. Okay, fingers crossed it kept where I was at. Let's see. It's probably my fault for playing it on a flash card rather than the actual console. Yeah, it's okay. I can do a shoot from there. So, no progress lost. Let's see whether we can get back to this boss and see whether it's okay or not. We'll see. Fingers crossed. Apparently putting it on the internal storage of the cartridge makes it more reliable. So I don't know whether it's an issue with the SD card that I've got in there, just being a really cheap one maybe. Or maybe it's just my curse. That's probably the explanation. I'm probably just cursed. Um, anyway, yeah, Mplay, what other games do you recommend from the Sage Expo? I've seen some really cool ones. I saw a DS remake of... Um, uh, what's that level in Sonic Adventure? The city one. You know which one I mean. Anyway, I saw that running on the DS, which was really impressive. And I actually saw some that you can run on a modded 3DS as well, which is really cool, so I want to check some of them out. And there was a few Sonic-style games that looked really interesting too. I've been, th I've been meaning to do a video about the, the Sage games for a long time, actually, but I've just never got around to it. For whatever reason. I even had a load of fan games downloaded that I wanted to do a video on and it's just always being pushed to the back of the queue because I've got something more important to work on. Let's see if I can get some extra lives. I had six lives and now since I've restarted I've only got two. So. Straight to the boss. Come on, don't crash this time. Okay, we're good. Oh, this, this boss is annoying as well. It's kind of like the one at the end of Sonic 1, but not as scary. It wouldn't work on the R4, I don't know. I actually got my R4 out earlier to try it out, but I didn't get around to it yet. So if I try it later, I'll let you know whether it works or not. Hey, I managed to hit him doing that, that's cool. I thought I'd missed my chance then. Come on, come up the top. Okay, I can get... Oh, I thought I could get that. Now I got him. That is really easy. Really easy to fight for some reason. The boss fights in Advance 2 are more fun because they um, they kind of have momentum to them, so you're constantly running as you're fighting the boss, which is really cool. But yeah, I just love all three of these games. Even though the first one is probably the worst of the three, just because it's kind of overly generic stages and the music doesn't really stand out that much. Sonic Advance 2 is definitely my favourite of the three. Sonic Advance 3, the level design isn't really that good. It's more interesting than Sonic Advance 2, but in terms of actually running through the stages, I don't enjoy it as much as Sonic Advance 2. I really like the level designs in this first one. I just feel like the whole game is just a bit... a bit too generic for its own good. 
Huh, yeah, basically. Mushroom Valley for eight stages in a row. It's cool though, I like the fact that they made it a bit faster. Kind of gives it a bit more energy. But the bosses in this one aren't too bad, they're just a bit forgettable, honestly. I mean, what does everyone else think who's played the Sonic Advance games? What order would you rank them in? Or... Uh, which ones do you think have better certain aspects? Like, I like the level design in this one the most, probably... Okay. Forget what I was just saying there. Level design sucks. Thanks, Dimps. Dimps are known for their bottomless pits, not their instant death traps. <laughs> anyway. As I was saying, level design sucks in Sonic 1. It's pretty okay in Sonic Advance 2, although it is very straightforward in Advance 2. You'd rate SA1 the highest. I'd say in terms of pure gameplay, SA1's probably the best, but the one I had the most fun playing was Advance 2. Just because it's faster, and I preferred the level themes compared to Advance 1. But it can also be more, more frustrating at times. And Advance 3 is just kind of weird. Like, I don't really know what they were thinking with the levels in that one. It was, it was interesting, but at the same time, they're just kind of haphazard feeling. I think it has something to do with the fact that there's so many different characters that you can play as. Yeah, Advance 3 is all over the place. I do kind of like the hub world in Advance 3 though. It's kind of nice to sort of have to go to the other levels, rather than just going one after the other. It's only a little thing, but I think it adds quite a bit to the game. And I like finding the chairs that are hidden around as well. Although, I think they put too much focus on the character swapping mechanic in Advance 3 which kind of just detracts from the main gameplay. Because there's so many different combinations and they can all do slightly different things. I think because it kind of came out around the same time as Sonic Heroes, so they were kind of going off that team play mechanic system that they'd invented for that game. But yeah, if you want a plain and simple, fun, classic Sonic game, then Sonic Advance 1 is definitely the one to go for. Whoa, I'm going to have to come back and and uh, take a screenshot of that comment so I can check some of them out. I won't remember all that. But thanks for the list. I'll definitely check them out. Oh no! Why did I stop for that? Ah! Nita! Nita! Where, why is there no bubbles anywhere? <gasps> no! Oh, I was out by like a second. Half a second. Oh, man. I'm not going up there this time. It's a trap. Ah! I'm taking the slow route. The slow route means I'm going to run out of air. Or die. Or die. Great level design. Mega Man the sequel. Oh, yeah, I've, I've seen that. That's the um, the Wily Wars version of Mega Man 3, 4, and 5, isn't it? No, 4, 4 5, and 6. Okay, I'm going back down. Ah! Oh my god, this level's out to get me. <gasps> oh my god. Yes, thank god for that. Oh, that was scary. Oh, no, 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 no! Yes, need air. Need invincibility. Need something. Invincibility doesn't stop you from drowning. What's the point? That's the only thing that can hurt you down here. Apart from that thing. I'm so scared of... Instant death pits in the water as well. When we're in a nice level that's not underwater, I seriously need to try and get some rings. Can't believe I'm down to zero lives already. Well, 
I guess it's because of my game reset, else I would have had like five. <gasps> uh, let me breathe. Yeah, I'm really looking forward to playing that Wily War sequel. That looks so cool. Does it run on an actual Mega Drive as well? I've been thinking about getting an EverDrive for the an EverDrive for the Mega Drive recently. So that would definitely be something I want to check out for it. On it. I loved playing through Wily Wars recently when um, Retrobit made their re-release. I did a review on it when it came out, and for the most part I really enjoyed it, although they didn't speed it up to 60Hz, which was very disappointing. I'm more worried about getting air than fighting the boss. Oh, uh, thank god for that. I remember I hate this boss. No, I need to jump higher than that! Oh no, really? Come on, let me out. I love how tense this, this fight is though. Well, I don't love it, but... I get what they were going for, I mean. It definitely works. Yes, I got some air. Surprisingly difficult fight. Usually, most Sonic games you can just cheese your way through the fights without really worrying about anything. There we go, we did it. We're out of this horrible level. Genuinely scary fight, that one. Oh my god. My hands are getting sweaty. Can you see the shiny control? Oh my god. Oh, god. oh no. This is where my run goes to die. Oh yeah, I'm really looking forward to Freedom Planet too. Finally, out this month. I really want to try Spark the Electric Jester as well. I know it's not a 2D game, but it is a Sonic-esque game that I really want to play. I'm so scared on this level. You'll see why, and I know I'm going to waste this life that I've got. take one wrong path in here, you're pretty much guaranteed to just fall into the void. Oh, the first one's 2D. I've only seen the 3D ones on. I did not expect there to be four there. And I'm actually doing okay. Let's see if I can get 100 rings. Uh, nope. Can I get back up? I'm going to try going back. There's a lucky landing there. I forgot this game actually gets quite challenging quite early on. Well, I say early on. I think there's only a few, a few stages left at this point. I'm trying to land on the floor next to him. Damn. There we go. Okay, this is a weird gimmick for this level. We have to run on the on the side of them. Oh, that's good. At least I don't need to worry about them boulders now. I think that's instant death down there. Oh, 99 rings! Yes, done it! Um, I was going to ask, I have a Buffett Tetris toy lying around, but I want to get rid of I've already got that, actually, but thanks. Oh my god, there you go. That's what I'm on about. This level's horrible. What a waste of a life. Oh, yeah, I guess this level was the inspiration. But yeah, there's just death pits everywhere. And yeah, I've already got that Tetris Poppet toy, but it's really cool. 
I am looking for the Tetris board game though, so if you're ever in a charity shop and you happen to stumble across the Tetris board game, let me know. Up there? Yeah, you can. Is there anything up there? No, there's not. Maybe? Or maybe I'm going backwards. Yeah, new Scarlet and Violet trailer. It's out soon though, so I don't know whether it's worth watching another trailer this close to release anyway. That's what I didn't understand about Xenoblade. Like, with like a month to go before the game came out, they had a big direct, and it's like. Surely people know that they're going to buy the game already by now, so you're just spoiling it for yourself at that point. Oh, there wasn't anything that exciting over there anyway. There should be a Nintendo Direct at some point this month as well, right? I hope so. They said they might announce um, Switch ports of Wind Waker and Skyward Sword, which will be great for people who haven't played them already. And for people like me who just want to replay them as many times as humanly possible. So yeah, what do you guys think about the other Zelda games coming out on the Switch? I've seen people get quite annoyed because they're like, they don't need to come out again. But you have to remember, the best versions of them are on the Wii U, which not a lot of people own, so... I, I think porting everything's good. Like, no one's forcing you to buy it if you don't want to. Port everything to the Switch. Why not? Or give us new games as well. I mean, come on, Nintendo, you are a bit, a bit slow in the new game department these past few years, or past ten years at this point. I get it. Games are harder to make than they used to be, but it does seem like they're doing a lot of incremental things rather than brand new games. I just want a sequel to Kid Icarus Uprising, honestly. Come on, Sakurai's done with Smash Bros now, let him, let him make something different again. Oh, speaking of Sakurai, has anyone been watching his, um, has anyone been watching his YouTube channel? It's really cool. I was just amazed that he decided to set up a game dev focused YouTube channel, it's been so interesting to watch. Oh no, I hate this level as well. These clouds spell instant death just below them. You have to be so careful on these stages. So, always try and go as high as you can. If that's an option. But yeah, do you see what I mean about this Sonic game actually being more platforming focused? It's not just run to the right. You actually have to slow down and think about what you're doing a bit more. Which is great, and I think I think Sonic games should have this balance. Rather than just straight up speed. I feel like it makes for a much more interesting game. And you'll see the difference when we get to playing Sonic Advance 2 after. Because that one is the complete opposite of this game. I think someone on the dev t Oh, really? Look at that, instant death. And I thought I was quite high up the stage as well then. And there goes all my rings. Yeah. It's true. I think even Sega forgot that at one point. Hence all the boost games. It was a good mix of speed and platforming. And exploration to a point as well. Can't believe I'm back down to no lives again. Let's see if we can get some back. Pretty sure there's only a few levels left after this. Oh, what? No! Ah, oh, why did it 
trigger like a second after I needed it. Not even a second. That's so unfair. Oh, and that box was useless too. I'm having some rotten luck. Sounded like Wario then. I want Nintendo to make a new Wario game as well. Like a proper Wario platformer. Five gold rings. Seven rings in hand. Did anyone get that reference? I know Empire gets it. Ah! Oh, I found another special stage! Whoa, that was unexpected. I'm, I genuinely thought I was just going the normal route then. Okay. Let's see if I can actually get this perspective down. At all. It's just... It doesn't match. It just... It just doesn't match at all with what you're actually seeing. How did I only get one ring then? What am I missing? Apparently I hit... Um, Spring. Hey, I managed to get all them somehow. But only one of them ones. Yeah, I know, I'm a failure. <laughs> uh, I mean, that game is better than Sonic 06 at least, which is what I did in my last stream. God, I hate these special stages so much. Has anyone actually managed to get through these without cheating? Can you go again? No, it doesn't do anything. That makes it even more frustrating. You'd rather play 06 and Secret Rings? Really? No, you think you'd rather play 06. I thought that, and then I tried it on stream the other day, and... Man, it's even worse than I remembered. There's only one good thing about 06, and that's Crisis City. That is a genuinely good Sonic level. Everything, out, everything else about that game can just cease to exist, for all I care. No, no. I'll play Secret Rings at some point and prove that it's a lot more viable than I say it. Where am I going? I'm going backwards, but I'm getting some rings at least. I honestly did. That stream was painful. Sarah actually asked me before I came on here, she thought I was coming here to play the rest of Sonic 06. I was like, no way, I'm never touching that game again. I want to actually have fun on stream, not just... Not just want to give up on life. <laughs> Maybe, um... As a sub goal or something, I could go back to it. <laughs> No, really? No, game over. I need to finish the game. Well, while this is going back. No, I can't be bothered. I was going to set up a goal, the like a follower goal or something, and say I'll go back to Sonic 06, but that's torture. I'm not doing that to myself. Let's go back. Can we go back to the same level? Yeah, you can see why I hate this level so much. At least we've got some lives now. I like the music. That's the one positive thing I have to say about this stage. Scared. I don't want to be there. Slow down. What am I waiting for? Oh, okay, there's a platform. See, I was so scared to drop down then. I didn't know there was a platform waiting for me. Sure, electric shield's good. I don't think I've ever been that way. I don't remember there being like a wind tunnel. So, Emprix, do you hate Black Knight as well? Have you even played it? You know what, when I first got Sonic 06 on the 360, 
it was also one of the first games I got for it, and at the time, I guess because I was just excited to have it, and it was one of the only games I had for the system, I did actually play it all the way through, and I honestly didn't, at the time, think it was that bad, but looking back on it, yeah, I was just oblivious to what a good game actually is. It's so broken. Oh, was it the motion controls you didn't like about, about Secret Rings? Yeah, at least you can just use the nunchuck with Black Knight, I guess. I didn't really have a problem with the controls in Secret Rings, so... The thing I had a problem with most about that game was having to... having to use experience points to go to get faster and to improve the controls. I just thought that this just does not fit Sonic at all. Like, I don't get what they were trying to do by adding that mechanic into the game. It didn't really add anything to the experience. Uh, again, I should have known that B would do that every time. I can't remember what O&M thought about Secret Rings at the time. I remember he was on the front cover when it was called Sonic Wildfire and he had the arrow through his chest. So yeah, I don't think they were overly kind on the game. Maybe you give it a 7? Something like that? No! Spikes! Go away! Ah. Can I go a different route? I'm really scared going this way. Look at that! Look at that level design! Ah. Infuriating stage. I'll get through it though. I've done it before. I can do it again. Just get rid of that damn bee! There, go rid of him. I'm getting kind of bored of the stage now. I know I need to wait for those spikes to go down. No, oh, no, no! Really? Oh, man. I am suffering through this level. I knew I would get here and struggle. Every time I play this game. I get to this point and I'm like, no, I give up. I'll just... replay the rest of the game again. Anyone got any tips? Apart from get God. Is there a different route I can take? It's just this section is just needlessly frustrating. Don't say it. Oh no 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 oh my god that was close. Okay, thank god I'm out there. as high up as possible. And try and find an extra life. Why was that platform so slow and forgiving? That's like the opposite of the rest of this game. Okay, are we safe? Are we out? No. There's just another horrible bee that's out to get me. Oh god, that is, that is horrible. That's scary. Oh, we're back here again. Well, I guess I'll try again. I don't know how I think I'm going the normal route and I end up in a special stage. What's going on there? And I already missed a load. Why are the rings so weirdly quiet as well? I'm doing a bit better though. Oh, that's how you get the, get the circles. Why did that not pick anything up then? Is that what I meant to do? Spin into them. Maybe. Oh, I'm actually doing okay this time. I still didn't pass though, but... I didn't realise you can do that. Wow! I'm getting closer. 
Not terrible. I still hate the perspective though. Bum, 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 bum. Definitely the hardest special stages in any Sonic game. Right, so where did I die after this point? Huh, <laughs> you didn't know that either. Yeah, I was just mashing buttons. I thought they all just make you dive down, but apparently you can also spin the, the thing right. Right, I don't know. I'm guessing there's something down there. I don't know where it's taking me. I'm just seeing rings and going for them. I think I'm going back on myself again, though. Ah, uh, yeah, it's here. I don't want to go that way. That's where I died last time, wasn't it? Let's keep going back and pick up some more rings. If I can... Oh, no! It took me back too far! God, I hate this level. So am I actually supposed to just keep going across the bottom and ignore the bit of the beat? I'm gonna try and go on this instead. Yay, I'm glad you could make it live. 3.20pm. So what part of the world are you in then? It is... Uh, 8.20 at the minute, here in the UK. In the evening. So, are you working from home or you got the day off? You've joined just at the right time to see me struggle through this horrible level. Although, I think I'm near the end now. Thank God. Is this the end? No. Nope. Oh, it's a boss fight, isn't it? Because this is Act 2. And I've got no lives, so watch me die on the boss and have to do it all again. It's Knuckles! Cool, well thanks for tuning in on your day off, I appreciate you using that time wisely to watch me suffer through Sonic events. I can't think of any better way of spending your time. Get me that ring! Oh god. Oh wow, I actually hit him while he was in the ball. I didn't think that would be possible. Yes, finally we can escape this torture le torture of a level. There we go. Thank god that's over. Egg Rocket Zone. I remember this one being a really another another really difficult level. So I think the time I've picked to stream is actually pretty good then, so people in America can watch as well. You've never tried Sonic Events, but the graphics look great. Yeah, the graphics are really nice. The game, though, is... Well, I was saying earlier, it's a little bit generic. But I do like the level designs, although they do get really challenging. Like you just saw in the Sky Sanctuary level then. Well, that game's... this game's equivalent of Sky Sanctuary. I can't remember what it's called. Sky Chase? Sky something. So, if you're wondering why I'm going kind of slow, it's... because I'm a bit... scared of... falling off the stage. Because this game has a lot of bottomless pits. And it likes to... throw you right at the bottom of the level, too. Like. If you carry on going there, that's instant death as well. So you really have to be careful when you're playing through this game. Even more so than other Sonic games. But I suppose once you've learned where and when to go. Oh no, I was saying I was saying earlier that there's some games from the Sonic Expo that you can play on the 3DS. I'm playing it on the GameCube down there. You can see the lights on down there using the SNES controller, which feels really nice for playing GBA games. So no, I'm not using the 3DS today. Although, I do, if I can pull it off, I do have it plugged in. There it is, my 3DS with a capture card. Because I'm 
frantically trying to finish off this Friday's video, which is going to be another 3DS games list. Because the last one I did is actually doing really well. I'm really surprised. So I decided to try and get a bit of a head start. Because I'm going off to London tomorrow for work, so if I record everything before I go, then I can edit it all in the hotel room. I, I still haven't got the analog pocket dock, unfortunately. I'm still waiting for it. Even though I ordered it at the same time as the console. So I don't understand how one ended up in a different... A different shipping group to the other. Because I do plan on using the Pocket Dock to play Game Boy games on stream in the future. But for some reason I don't have it yet. Which is really frustrating. But I've got alternatives, I guess. So it's not too bad. And the GameCube plays the games just fine, so... It's not really an issue. Oh yeah, I'm a bit annoyed that the dock hasn't turned up. Because I wanted to do a video about it as well and sort of compare it to the Game Boy Player and stuff. But I don't have to wait, unfortunately. I want to get that item up there. How do you get up there? I can't jump high enough. Do I have to just jump from on here? Whoa, I didn't jump at all. I'm going to run out of time if I keep trying to do this. Right, one more attempt. Yay, I did it. Is there anything else over there? No. That'd be cool if they put a secret path there. But anyway, got a nice healthy amount of rings. Maybe I can get another life? I'm in desperate need of them. No, really? It gave me one. I hate those item boxes. There's some. 94, eh? another shield, but I already have a shield. I'm scared, I need three more. Yay! No, I don't. Shouldn't let my guard down. Where are we going? We got more chemical plant style pipes. Oh my god. This game. Did you guys see that? If you want, um... Any sort of explanation as to why people think that Dimps isn't a good Sonic level designer? Well, there's your answer right there. I can't believe that. I feel like the level designers were just having a bad day. Like, what can we do to really, really annoy people? I know. Let's just shoot them into a spring that you may or may not land on. Depending on when you arrive at the spring. Such a stupid design. But. Whatever. Oh, uh, I don't know how you're supposed to get that either. Okay, slow down, slow down. We've got to take this carefully here. So stupid. So stupid. Where is it? Oh, God. I forgot you can do that. <laughs> no. No, I will not have that. No, I do not accept that death. That is unacceptable. Genuinely. Hate. I think we've gone a different way than before. Oh no, I just didn't go high enough. Again, another pointless um, shield that does nothing. Because there's no enemies. Okay, so I am not going that way this time. I'm going to take that way out. Let's try going up here instead. Where is this going to take me? I love the GBA pixel art in general. Just the GBA is probably my favourite console in terms of graphics. It's kind of that sweet spot between the developers having enough power to do what they really wanted with the games, but also having to be limited by sprite work. 
and a lot of the games on the GBA just look incredible. I think it has like the perfect resolution for those for those kind of games as well. Like being slightly widescreen gives you a little bit more space to actually see what's going on as well. It's not 4x3 like the Game Boy was. Or I guess 3x2 if you want to be picky. But yeah, GBA definitely has my my favourite graphics of any console. How are you going to get over there? I'm not going to risk it. Oh, this looks horrible. This is horrible! I need a ring. Whoa, that was close. Where's it taking me? I'm just trying to go high up so I don't have to worry about going into a bottomless pit. <clears throat> yeah, you know what else the aspect ratio works for? Basically works on Twitch as well. You only get very slight borders on the side. So I'm happy about that. I'm not sure where I'm supposed to go now. Have I... Have I kind of gone back on myself a bit? The arrows are sending me this way, though. Go over here. Yeah. I was really confused when the DS came out and they actually went back to a square display. That always shocked me a bit. And then whenever you play GBA games on it, it has horrible black borders down the sides. What? This level is just a troll level. Whoa, okay. Saved by the fan. Where am I supposed to be going? Am I even going the right way? I don't even know anymore. I'm guessing so. Okay, we found something. A pipe. I kind of thought that would shoot me off into a special state then. Apparently this level is just really convoluted. Hmm, yeah, that is weird as well that the GBA only had two buttons. And there was a lot of SNES ports as well, yeah. It is a bit strange when the DS brought back. In some ways I like it, because I like the fact that only having two buttons kind of make sure that the developers keep things simple. But at the same time, yeah, it made porting games a bit weird. I like how the higher up you get in this level, the background starts to become more stars and space themed. I wish there was more outside sections, because as much as I like this aesthetic, I do think that having the stars in the background would have been nicer. But I get it, you're kind of inside a base. So. Oh yeah, can't be a classic Sonic game without an anti-gravity section. Except this time there's no warning, not like Sonic 3. It's also kind of weird that they kept this music the same, but changed pretty much every other song in the game. Whoa, have I got two at once? Uh, speed shoes. Which is completely pointless here. It's just making it more difficult. Uh, there's no point in trying to get all the rings, I'm way off getting the hundreds. Let's see how many this gives me. Ten. Not worth it. Go away, hate you, mole. No! Oh! I was almost there as well. Again. Oh, thank God. 
No! Why is this level so unfair? I'm never going to get an extra life. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god! No, no, no! They knew what they were doing! I get it, you want to make a challenging game. Do it, do it properly, like... Have more interesting enemy placements or something, or... More difficult platforming sections. Don't just put spikes where you can't control if you're going to land in them or not. It's not good level design. I don't care that Sonic's a famous character and you can get away with lazy levels. Is that the end of the stage? Maybe? Yeah, end of Act 1, at least. This level has a cool aesthetic to it. Again, if I remember right, it's another really difficult level. There's loads of hidden traps everywhere. But I will press on. For the sake of content. What have I become? Oh god, hate. Yeah, don't let me complaining about the game and put you off. It is a really good game. All three of them are really good. In their own way. I'm hoping to play Sonic Advance 2 as well if I... Uh, if I get far enough tonight. Then you can see the difference between the first and second game. And there is a big difference between them. This one's very much, like, slow-paced platforming and obviously dodging a lot of obstacles. If you didn't guess already. But the second one's a lot faster paced. And it kind of introduced the boost mechanic as well, so... The faster you go, there's like a ring in the corner that spins around and... As it spins around faster and faster, eventually you reach, like, supersonic speed. It looks really cool, and the, the way the levels are designed, you can kind of just fly through them. Which is very different to this game. I'm just going left here to try and get some more rings. And hopefully hold on to them. Ha! Huh. No chance. I should give up ever trying to get an extra life at this point. There you go. Just trying to prove my point, are you? Again, weird that there's no telling when you're going to end up on the ceiling or not. Rings! No! No, my rings! No! I missed all of them. And now I haven't got any. There we go. We got a few from this weird haphazard section. Now we got a very familiar boss fight. Familiar and frustrating. You'll see why. Yeah, because he fires these out. And if you leave it too long, he spins back round again as well. And now I've only got one ring left, so I need to make sure I keep hold of it. I would say, honestly, this is probably the hardest of the classic Sonic games. Ooh, that was lucky. Yay! That wasn't too bad, actually. That whole act was okay, actually. Not too hard. No, all my Vimto's gone. Oh, only one act on that one. Now we're onto some boss fights. And we get a call back to the original game, first of all. Kind of Sonic with a bit of nostalgia. 
without a bit of nostalgia. Although the physics seem a bit different here. Maybe it's better to do it like... No. No? Okay, never mind. No point trying to figure out how that works. Oh yeah. Collapsing floor as well. And now we get one from Sonic 2! Emerald Hill! Complete with the Sonic 2 music. I don't know why they made these ones so easy. Like, they only take a few hits to kill. I guess because they're treating it as just like a quick little boss rush thing rather than its own full stage. Uh, I'm presuming this one's from Sonic 3. 3. Maybe I shouldn't try and cheese it. Whoa, that was close. Ah, leave me alone! You really don't have long to, to attack him though. Yeah, literally, if you jump, even as soon as it's down, if it's the wrong pattern, you're still not going to get a chance to, uh, to hit him. As long as I can keep picking the ring up, though, I'm okay. Where are you going? No, the ring's going to fall to the left. Oh, I did it! Yes! I was getting really worried then. Yay! Was that the final boss or is that one more? I think it's going to shout at me for not getting all the emeralds. That is the end. There we go. Weirdly, the final boss isn't that difficult compared to the rest of the game. Look at that pixel art. That's just fantastic. Yay! Congratulations! Is that it? Am I going to get told off for not getting the emeralds? No, straight to the credits. I guess I'll get told off at the end. Right. While it's on them, I'm going to go and get another drink, so enjoy watching these credits. See you in a second. Stay there. I just told Sarah that I'm going back to play Sonic even though I just finished Sonic Advance 1 and she said, are you going to go and play Sonic 06 now then? No, no I'm not. I'm actually going to the toilet so bear with me another minute.
Ah, I was on mute. I was just saying, yes, I've been standing up because I've been sitting down all day. And I'm going to swap over to Sonic Advance 2. Let's give that a reset. No, I won't play Sonic 06. Ever. Look at all these other games I could be playing. Advance Wars, Donkey Kong, F-Zero, Fire Emblem, Hacks. What have I got in there? Oh, nothing that exciting yet. Mario Advance, Mega Man, Metroid. Oh, they're just a load of random games. Prototype games. They were really interesting to look through. RPGs. Loads of RPGs I don't have time for. Rayman, SSX. Shoot 'em ups. Surprisingly, there's quite a lot. I was going to do a video about them. Tech demos. Tony Hawk's Zelda. Anyway, today we are playing Sonic Advance number two. Actually, I just thought I should probably boot it into the memory of the cartridge so it doesn't crash like the other ones, so bear with me again. One more second. Let's just do that. And as well, I need to change the name of the stream to say Sonic Advance 2 and change the game to Sonic Advance 2 and then it can be a chapter because that's pretty cool. So, let's get back there. Sonic Advance number two. Right to Nor, whatever Nor means. It means not or in circuit boards. Oh, this one's bigger. This one's 128 megabytes. So, that might take a while. I'm really excited to play through Advance 2 though. I find it a lot more fun than the first one. Although there are a few more really frustrating parts to the levels as well, which you'll see. You'll see me get mad at them. But Yeah, this is kind of slow, but apparently it's more reliable when you actually play the game on it this way. I missed the Hey Go Collect on the Emerald screen. Good, then I can pretend that I don't need to go and get them. Because I'll never do that in Sonic Advance 1. Because I just hate those special stages so much. 